Donald Trump held a press conference with MAGA Mike Johnson on Friday. His back is against the wall. He's trapped. He knows it. And as Janet Johnson said, when you're lying all the time, it's hard to keep all of those lies straight. Take a look at this moment from the press conference where Donald Trump is asked a rather simple question. Watch how he answers this. Play the clip. Excuse me, please. Just a follow-up. Over the, over the last few decades, Mr. President, you have both considered yourself pro-choice and pro-life. Which one is it? Well, you know exactly which one it is. And when I was in New York and when I was a Democrat also, just like Ronald Reagan, you know, Ronald Reagan was a Democrat. We sort of followed a very similar path. But if you look at what we've done with Roe v. Wade, we did something that everyone said couldn't be done and we got it done. And I give great credit to the Supreme Court and the, the justices for having the courage to do it. What they did is very simply give it back to the state. And I'll tell you, the Democrats are the radicals on this because they're willing to have abortions in the seventh, eighth, ninth month. I mean, what a bunch of word salad there. In other words, I stand for nothing and fall for everything, wh whatever. And then he has to go and brag about overturning Roe v. Wade. And then, of course, he spreads these unhinged conspiracies that he likes to say at these events, treating the American public and women like they're stupid and saying, oh, well, of course, people are getting abortions in the eighth month and nine month and even when a baby's born. Look, uh, abortion care, reproductive care, it's health care for women and what these MAGA Republicans are doing and what they've done is taken away women reproductive care and health care in these despicable and disgusting bans that exist in various states. But Donald Trump was at it again, saying that we broke Roe v. Wade. He's celebrating it. He goes, we broke it. We broke it. Says it all. Play the clip. President, while you were in office, you said that you would sign a federal abortion ban if Congress sent it to your desk. Why should Americans trust your word that you would not do it now if you were reelected? Because we don't need it any longer because we broke Roe v. Wade and we did something that nobody thought was possible. We gave it back to the states and the states are working very brilliantly, in some cases conservative, in some cases not conservative, but they're working and it's uh, working the way it's supposed to. Every Donald Trump then goes bra then goes and brags about giving every all of the rights to the states for the states to punish women for the states to punish doctors for the states to ban reproductive care for states to put women's health and lives at risk here Donald Trump says it play the clip wanted to have it go back to the states democrat republican liberal conservative and we're able to do that. You know, what we did was give it back to the states. And now the states are working their way through it. And you're going, you're having some very, very beautiful harmony, to be honest with you. You have. You see MAGA Mike Johnson standing there as well. A reporter asked Donald Trump if he supports the motion to vacate uh, MAGA Mike Johnson, to get rid of MAGA Mike. And here's Donald Trump's response. Play the clip. <laughs> We're getting along very well with the speaker, and I get along very well with Marjorie. Uh, we have a speaker. Uh, he was voted in, and it was a complicated process. And uh, I think very, uh, it's not uh, not an easy situation for any speaker. I think he's doing a very good job. He's doing uh, about as good as you're going to do. And uh, I'm sure that Marjorie understands that. She's a very good friend of mine, and I know she has a lot of respect for the speaker. And one of the reasons that MAGA Mike was there, in addition to taking orders from Donald Trump to harm our country, to stop aid from getting to Ukraine, from stopping solutions at the border. I mean, can we just, you know, just think about that for a moment? The things that Donald Trump is trying to do and trying to stop. He's trying to stop bipartisan, and he is stopping bipartisan border deals to deal with chaos at the border because MAGA Republicans like chaos. Donald Trump is helping Vladimir Putin by, by blocking aid or having MAGA Mike Johnson block aid to Ukraine. And MAGA Mike goes there to like the dungeons in Mar-a-Lago and just kind of stands there. And then he starts talking about things that are not actual issues. He goes, we're going to introduce a legislation to stop illegal immigrants from voting. 
okay, that's that's just that's not it doesn't that's not a thing. Y'all are making this up. Play this clip. It's the basis of who we are as a nation, and we owe that to the American people. And so, what we're going to do is introduce legislation to require that every single person who registers to vote in a federal election must prove that they're an American citizen first. They have to prove it. That will be a new uh, uh, part of the federal law and a very important one. Our bill will est- Great. So you are going to, I guess, in addition to the legislation that they've been introducing, they've introduced rules to introduce legislation about like uh, dry cleaners and air conditioning and refrigerators. They're going to try to legislate on things that are already unlawful. Uh, well, I guess that's better than trying to rename Dulles International Airport after Donald Trump, which is the other thing that MAGA Republicans uh, want to do. He, he, here was a notable moment, though, from the press conference. As MAGA Mike Johnson is talking about hardened criminals, he points to Donald Trump when he's talking about hardened criminals. I want to give a special hat tip right here um, as well for uh, the group that found this one here. Let's play this clip. Everybody from around the world to come here, including hardened criminals, including hardened criminals, hardened criminals, hardened criminals, hardened criminals. And and the hat tip for the group that did it is American Bridge to the 21st Century found uh, that clip right there. Going through more of this bizarre and unhinged press conference, Donald Trump then talks about how it's an honor to hold this press conference at Mar-a-Lago, which he says is worth $18 million. Play this clip. Well, thank you very much. It's an honor to have you at Mar-a-Lago, my $18 million house on the ocean and the bay. And uh, it's one of the problems we have. We have a... As you know, I'm a dad. And as the days go on, I'm learning that it's incredibly important what we give our children. Now, typically children's vitamins are basically candy in disguise. They're filled with two teaspoons of sugar, unhealthy chemicals, and other gummy junk growing kids should frankly never eat. That's why Haya was created, the pediatrician approved superpowered chewable vitamin. Now, while most children's vitamins are filled with five grams of sugar and can contribute to a variety of health issues, Haya is made with zero sugar and zero gummy junk. Yet it tastes great and it's perfect for picky eaters. Haya fills in the most common gaps in modern children's diets to provide the full body nourishment that our kids need with a yummy taste that they love. Formulated with the help of nutritional experts, Haya is pressed with a blend of 12 organic fruits and veggies, then supercharged with 15 essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamin D, B12, C, zinc, folate, and many others to help support immunity, energy, brain function, mood, concentration, teeth, bones, and more. It's non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, allergy-free, gelatin-free, nut-free, and everything else you could imagine. Now, Haya is designed for kids of all ages and sent straight to your door so parents have one less thing to worry about. Like I said, I'm a dad and I want to make sure that I give my child the best possible vitamins and that's why I'm so happy that I've come across Haya Health. The ingredients are amazing and I don't have to worry about sugar or gummy junk because Haya Health is made without that stuff and it's still able to taste great. Now, we've worked out a special deal with Haya for their best-selling children's vitamin. Receive 50% off your first order. Now, to claim this deal, you have to go to HayaHealth.com slash Midas. This deal is not available on their regular website. Go to H-I-Y-A-H-E-A-L-T-H dot com slash Midas and get your kids the full body nourishment they need to grow into healthy adults. You know, and I know that's Donald Trump trying to be sarcastic and say, oh, the judge said Mar-a-Lago is $18 million and it's really worth $1.8 billion. Look, you're the one who said it's worth $18 million. The judge doesn't do valuations. The judge looked at your financials and because you wanted to pay less taxes, you said to the tax appraisers that it's worth under $26 million or worth $18 million. Which, by the way, that would have been fine, maybe suspicious, but it would have been fine, but for the fact that you then tell, that you then told lenders that it's a residential property when it was a commercial property. You claimed it was a residential property worth several hundred million dollars. So the issue here is that you were fraudulently making different representations 
to different groups and lying about the underlying nature of the property, about whether it's commercial, a club where dues paying members pay you to be there as part of your grift. That's how you fund the place that you live is with members paying dues or whether it's a residential property. And as I've said, if it's a residential property, I think it would be worth several hundred million dollars, but it's not a residential property anyway. I digress. Um, here you have Speaker Johnson nodding, his, nodding along very passionately as Donald Trump says a bunch of nonsense. Play the clip. A really good job under very tough circumstances. And I appreciate he came to Mar-a-Lago. We have a great conference and there's a big turnout because people want this to be healed. They want our country to be healed. They want our country to be united. Then Donald Trump whines about uh, jury selection at his upcoming trial. Play this clip. Up on that. Why do you believe it is important for you to testify, take the stand in this upcoming trial? And what are you watching as jury selection begins yeah. in New York? Well, you know, jury selection is largely luck. It depends who you get. It's very unfair that I'm having a trial there. It's very unfair that we have this judge who hates Trump and has tremendous conflict, as you know, tremendous conflict. Nobody can believe that this judge isn't recusing himself. The conflict is at a level that nobody's ever seen before. So I have that and I have venue. We have all these things that we've asked for. They don't give us anything. It's a witch hunt that takes place in New York and that is taking place. And it's very bad for New York and it's very bad and it's very bad for the judicial system in New York. Donald Trump then lies and says he's going to testify at said trial, which he's not. <laughs> but he says he's going to that's what he does. We're going to do a whole other video on that. Play the clip. <laughs> you plan to testify in your trial in New York? Yeah, I would testify. Absolutely. It's a scam. It's a scam. That's not a trial. That's not a trial. That's a scam. If you read Jonathan Turley, if you read Andy McCarthy, if you le read the legal, they said there's not even a case there. That's and now can we compare that, though, to Vice President Harris and the press conference that she gave? Uh, and, and taught what she gave in Arizona. Here's Vice President Harris saying about uh, what, what Trump is trying to do. Play this clip. In fact, he brags about it. Just this week, he said that he is, quote, proudly the person responsible for overturning Roe. Proudly responsible for the pain and suffering of millions of women and families. Proudly responsible that he took your freedoms. And just minutes ago, standing beside Speaker Johnson, Donald Trump just said the collection of state bans is, quote, working the way it is supposed to. <laughs> and as much harm as he has already caused, a second Trump term would be even worse. Donald Trump's friends in the United States Congress are trying to pass a national ban. And understand, a national ban would outlaw abortion in every state, even states like New York and California. And here Vice President Harris talks about the press conference that Donald Trump just gave. Play the clip. And now... Trump wants us to believe he will not sign a national ban. Enough with the gaslighting. Enough with the gaslighting. We all know if Donald Trump gets the chance, he will sign a national abortion ban. And how do we know? Just look at his record. Just look at the facts. Y'all know I'm a former prosecutor? Just look at the facts. Congress tried to pass a national abortion ban in 2017, and the then President Trump endorsed it and promised to sign it if it got on his desk. Well, the great Maya Angelou once said, when someone tells you who they are, believe them the first time. Donald Trump has told us who he is. You see the contrast there, folks? It is, it is very, very different. This is about freedom. This is about 
giving women their reproductive rights back. And you see Donald Trump up there like, what was that answer? What was that answer? I, I, I mean, if, if you believe, that, let's say you identify as pro-life, although to me, you know, all of those labels, I don't like those labels because pro-life people want to kill women by taking away their reproductive rights, in, in my view, because um, reproductive care is health care, clearly. Um, but any event, but imagine that you identify that and Donald Trump is asked, so are you pro-life? People know exactly what I am. I was a Democrat. That was his answer. People know exactly what I am. I'm a Democrat. I was a Democrat. Ronald Reagan was a Democrat. Ronald Reagan was a Democrat. There's this nonsensical, not just a bunch of nonsense. He is a grifter. He is a fraud. He is an idiot. He is dangerous. And I'm not trying to. I, I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm not trying to do the name calling. Blah blah blah. You just you. Watch that. How else will, How else can you describe what we all just observed together? So, I'm Ben Micellas from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers thanks to your support. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.